Hey guys, it's Joe with PocketNow.com. Now, since we've had a couple days to play around with the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, which runs Ice Cream Sandwich or Android 4.0, what have we found that's different? We'd like to show you. Let's go take a look. So generally speaking, the first thing you're going to see when you turn your phone on is the lock screen, how you can get in and start using your phone. Well, that's a little bit different with Ice Cream Sandwich, so let's start there. First and foremost, the system lock or the screen lock can be set to none. So you push the button and you're up and running. That's probably the fastest way. Slide, that's similar to what we're used to. I'll show you that in just a minute. Face unlock. Now face unlock is a new feature in Ice Cream Sandwich. As long as you have a front facing camera that is supported by ICS, you can set your face up to unlock it. I'll show you a little bit about that. Right now it's a little bit slower than you might like and it's only about 50 to 80% uh, accurate and that accuracy goes down quite a bit in uh, in low light scenarios which ironically i found myself in quite a bit pattern is what we're used to with a pattern where you can just draw a pattern on the screen a uh, little bit different look to it pin is your personal identification number and password is your password so not a lot changes there let's look at slide first so we'll select that we'll go back home and i'm going to turn the phone off and i'll turn it back on and now you can see i've got this little lock with a hint telling me to go over to the side, it shows you my carrier is T-Mobile, the time, my name, email address, and the date. So we'll go ahead and unlock that. Now, if you notice, I've got this little ring that has a couple action items on it. Over here, I've got my camera. So if I wanna launch my camera app right away, I can just take it over there. Or on the side, I have my unlock to just take me to the home screen. And of course, it timed out there because I was talking too long. So I'll just drag it there and we're unlocked. To get in and change that, we're gonna skip around a little bit here. To change that, you grab your notification tray and pull it down, and you've got your little setting sliders right there at the top. Tap that, you can get into it. That's the fastest way to get into settings. Of course, you can still do it through the app drawer, but that's probably the fastest. Under security, that's where we were just looking, and screen lock, that's where we can set this information up. So let's go ahead and look at uh, pattern. We'll draw a pattern here. We'll do that pattern. Continue, that pattern, confirm. Great, turn the phone off, turn it back on. And here's my pattern, just kind of small dots, not the, the large ones that we're used to, but we can draw it up and over. And I've set it so that it vibrates on touch and it doesn't show the pattern. So if somebody's looking over your shoulder, they won't see what your pattern is. But of course you can change that just like with the previous versions as well. Let's see if we can do uh, face unlock a demo here for you really quick. If you want to set up face unlock, there are a few things to keep in mind. One, it's not as secure as a pattern, a pin, or a password. A twin brother or sister or a sibling who looks like you could potentially unlock your phone with their face because they look very similar to you. And the data that's used to identify your face is kept private on your phone. So it's not being you know, uploaded to Google to uh, create some kind of a huge biometric face recognition system of all the people who use Android. You don't need to worry about that. Let's go ahead and set it up. Now what you'll see here is a ring of dots and you'll see me with the camera here. So it's not gonna recognize me and I've tried this a few times before and it just doesn't do it. So I'm gonna have to do it off camera, but I'll show you what happens. Oh, maybe it will work this time. It goes around and recognizes your face and various different uh, components to it, data points if you will. When you continue, you're asked if you want to set up a pattern or a pin. We'll go ahead and set up a pattern again. We'll do the same one, continue, confirm it, and we're good to go. Now when we turn this off, I got to hold it real close here, so hopefully it'll recognize me. It takes a minute, uh, well there you go. Usually it takes a minute to turn on the camera, in which case you've got a, this kind of black rectangle right there in the middle. That's why it's initializing the camera, but once we do that, Bam, right there, you're in. This was actually a little bit quicker than most, so kind of nice. I'm gonna turn that off because I think it might have the camera in there and I'm gonna set it to none. But really kind of a cool way to do a screen unlock. Let's get into uh, more of our notification tray now. So this is the home screen. We do have our new Google search bar, which is persistent across all the screens there. We've got our dock bar on the bottom that you're familiar with. We've got our common or persistent buttons down on the bottom. I'll get to some of that in just a minute. But up at the top, we've got our notification bar. Bluetooth is on, Wi-Fi is on, uh, my HSPA Plus network or my uh, 
GSM rather is on, battery is high, and there is my clock using the, uh, the new Roboto font. So very nice. Let me go ahead and send an email to myself and we'll see that notification show up right here in the notification bar in just a moment. So now I've got a new notification. I've got a Gmail up here. When I pull down this notification tray, you can see I've got a message from me. It shows you that I have three emails and if I want to dismiss them all, I can hit the X or if I want to, I can simply swipe to dismiss. Now, what you also saw in there was a little uh, avatar. If I had my own picture set up, it would have showed my face right there, which is really kind of nice. If you've got four or five emails, it shows you who they are right there. Uh, if it's a Gmail like that one, it kind of consolidates all into one. If it's corporate email and whatnot, it'll stack them a little bit better. But really nice, really easy to uh, just swipe to dismiss. It's very, very fluid. So. Next, let's get to the next cool thing, and that's your uh, app drawer, which really isn't a drawer anymore. So I tapped on that, and now we've got our apps and our widgets and our market just right there really quick. You can jump between them, apps, widget, market. This is now a horizontal paginator, so you can see where you are on the screen down at the bottom. I'd like it if that persisted a little bit more, but it doesn't. That's all my apps. Next, it switches over to widgets. And widgets are essentially the same thing as apps now. You can just tap and drag and drop. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's put feeder out here. I don't have any room on that screen. So let's come over here to this one and I'll drop it right in place. There you go. Uh, let's do Dilbert. That's always fun. If I can find Dilbert, where's Dilbert? He's right down here. So now I have a, a daily Dilbert feeder widget on my home screen and I've got my YouTube widget that's going out and getting my uh, my latest feed there. So really kind of cool. Now let's say I don't want uh, let, We gotta switch over to something else. Let's say that I don't want this Waze widget on the home screen I mean, I like it there, but let's say I need something else there. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to the home screen Yes, I want to turn it off. I want that to be down here So it's accessible all the time say with my web browser so I'm going to tap and hold and just drop that right down onto my browser, let it go. Now I have a folder that I can name, just very simply, we're gonna call this blah. I don't know what we wanna call it, so we'll just call it blah. We can say done, and there we go. We can also reorder the widgets by just, or excuse me, the icons by dragging and dropping them. So really kinda cool. Now, whatever you put first is up first and it remembers that order. You know what, I decided I really don't like that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and change it back, if I can, to, uh, to the home screen. And it should let me drop it right there, which it does, and now I'm back. So very easy way to create uh, folders and, and move them around and work with them. The last thing we're gonna look at is back into settings. Okay, so we're gonna go into settings again, dragging that down, hitting settings. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is this is a lot shorter than what you're used to. Uh, we had tons and tons and tons of settings in here before. Now we have them broken up. Wireless and Networks has the, uh, the top or most frequently used settings. We can go into more. Here's our device stuff. Here's our personal stuff and system. Just a very basic, very fun. Let's go into Wireless and Networks because that does have a more. We can switch into Airplane Mode, VPN, can turn on tethering or a portable hotspot right there, turn on and off NFC. Android Beam is of course the cool new feature that lets you uh, tap your phone to the back of another phone to send stuff. I don't have another NFC phone in hand just yet so I can't show you that feature but it's really cool. Wi-Fi Direct, if anybody knows what this is, please let us know in the comment. I haven't found any information on it at all. And then mobile networks. This is of course your uh, your carrier settings and whatnot if you want to enable data roaming. So similar to what you've seen in the past. Overall, very nice, very fast, very fluid. You can see just how quick things are in here. Uh, there's your, you've gone to the edge and there's no more to see animation. It's really quick, really nice. Uh, getting back to the Galaxy Nexus, very vibrant screens, very bright, very pretty, very true blacks. I like it quite a bit. Uh, and of course the speed is just all over the place. It's not as fast as some of the Galaxy S2s, but it's not supposed to be. This is your Google 
feature phone with its nice curved screen and curved back and of course ice cream sandwich on it. So a little bit of a detailed rundown on some of the newer things that you can see with Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. If you've got something that you like about this or that you don't like, let us know in the comments of the video down below. Of course, if you have not yet subscribed to our video channel, make sure you do that so you can stay up to date on all the other cool Nexus and Android ice cream sandwich news and information. And if you like seeing this kind of stuff so you don't have to go out and plunk down a big chunk of change on the phone yourself, give the video a big thumbs up. Four Pocket Now showing off ice cream sandwich. I'm Joe Levi.